Hello everyone, this is Pernell Charles, you know, you're a very adventurous Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries. I'm here, pleased to join you on a ledge at our National Irrigation Commission Limited Dam Head here in St. Catherine under the theme Accelerating Change, Water Changing Behavior and Lives, all for World Water Day. The 2023 theme re-emphasizes the need for us to be smart and deliberate in our actions and how we use water to ensure its sustenance for the foreseeable future. So today, we are here at this uh, Rio Cobra Dam operated by the NIC, my ministry's portfolio agency, charged with the responsibility to provide Jamaica with irrigation services to all of our agricultural sector and to some of the industrial and commercial operations as well. Now this dam was built in 1886 and it remains critical in terms of water production and distribution for this parish. Now water, as you know, is an indispensable resource for sustaining life on planet Earth and it is a critical input for successful agricultural production. Now, agriculture across the world uses 70% of the world's water, which tells us how important this day is for the sector, particularly to us at the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, especially in the midst of what we saw as an ongoing drought. The conservation and the smart usage of this precious water has become critical and it is everybody's business. As the need now to achieve food security intensifies, our demand then for water is going to also increase. And so in acknowledging World Water Day 2023 and in the face of increasing climate change issues and drought issues, it has become critical for us to change our mindset towards water. We must collectively develop a positive and smart attitude towards how we use water, how we consume it, how we manage this precious God-given resource. We reaffirm our commitment to you today to bolster support to our stakeholders within the agricultural sector. And we are going to continue to work tirelessly to create further viable and smart options to address the lack of access to water in water-stressed farming communities. We're listening to you farmers, we're listening to you stakeholders. This is why your government has invested millions of dollars into the development and expansion of irrigation infrastructure to, to serve thousands of additional farmers across the island. The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries has made significant headway in providing irrigation support to our farmers through the Essex Valley Agricultural Development Project and through SPAD, which is a Southern Plains Agricultural Development Project. These two represent the largest investment made by the Ministry ever to date. This year alone, we're spending $4.4 billion on these projects and retrofitting the farm gating communities in the Amity Hall, Bridgepen, St. Catherine areas, Parnassus in Clarendon and Essex Valley in St. Elizabeth with the construction of infrastructure and systems with the capacity to supply water to these areas. These are high production zones. These projects will provide enhanced irrigation systems and services to over 1,600 hectares of land up with our production. Infrastructure development of this kind is now ongoing and we have additional plans on the way to boost access to water for other areas in our country. Today then, I encourage our farmers, whether you are in drought or in rain, make a deliberate effort to take a smart approach to our water usage. I implore you to be efficient in how and when you irrigate your crops as we work to improve our water management systems. This smart approach is going to reap fruitful rewards during periods of extended drought for us and for other generations to come. And let us continue then to unify our efforts as we work to accelerate smart changes within the agricultural sector as we become even more intentional in our efforts to develop positive habits around the use, the consumption and the management of our water systems. To you, to all, to all Jamaica and the world, Happy World Water Day!